324 in the morning, Friday the 14th. Everything here is covered with ice. You can see it in the, maybe you can see it blowing. See it on my antenna and mirror. That ice fog here last night, and it covered everything with a coating of ice. Almost, it's, it looks like it snowed out there. Headed to Indianapolis. Um, I made a phone call and got my vitro load for Monday rescheduled for Thursday. Um, too much snow, gonna get six to ten inches plus ice up there. And I asked them if they would could look into rescheduling it and moving it around. And they said, let's look at the weather, we'll call you back. They looked at the weather, they called me back and said, Yeah, we're gonna move that. That ain't gonna work. But I got a nice coating of ice on everything here. Don't think it really affected the roads much. I haven't seen any traffic moving because nobody's out, but it's still coming down pretty hard for ice fog. Pickle was right. We talk about a 180 degree turnaround. Um, they woke me up at 5 a.m., which is normal for Columbus. Uh, I was out of there in under two hours. I blasted over to Cater, the load was ready. I was out of there in 46 minutes. Um, I had no problems anywhere. I was way ahead of schedule. I was able to burn up all my clock. I think I only had 40 minutes left. I am in uh, somewhere. I'm an hour north of Memphis, so I made it that far from Pennsylvania. Uh, or from Columbus, I'm sorry. 600 and, uh, 677 and a half miles today. I'm beat. I slept like crap last night. I was tired all day. Uh, went in, took a shower, and finally ate today, just a little bit ago. And then I got some chocolate, and I didn't read the instructions very good. It's like fruit and nuts. And when I'm president, if you put anything in chocolate, other than peanuts and almonds, you go to prison. You put coconut in it, raisins, <laughs> walnuts, but I mean, yeah, everything, even I got scaled one time, all the other scales were closed. I came across the bridge, uh, and then in Missouri, it said scale one mile. I got a quarter mile away, it said open, so I'm slowing down. And then it goes to closed. I went right on. I mean, it just, it, I could have drove, um, I could have made it to Memphis, but there is nobody in their right mind wants to overnight at the truck stops in Memphis. I don't know if the crime has changed, but the crime was really bad there. It's to the point trucking companies forbid their drivers from overnighting in these Memphis truck stops. Uh, so I said, you know, I gotta be in Grenada at eight. I've only got uh, two and a half hours to go, two hours and 45 minutes, something like that to go. So, you know, I went ahead and just, just shut it down. They're not even going to get me in till 8. It does me no good to get there. I'm going to get there at 7.30. I'm going to roll from here at 7.30. I'm going to roll back up to Decatur. And I'm going to hope that I have a step deck for Indy. Because if I don't, I'll be honest, it's going to piss me off. Because I'll need a step deck for Vitro in Carlisle. That means I'll have to... Uh, I can't make it to Indy tomorrow. Um, I don't think because I'm gonna burn um, two hours of clock just getting to um, just getting to Grenada. I'm gonna burn two hours of clock tomorrow. Which is gonna only gonna leave me uh, you know ten, around ten hours. And uh, yeah it's gonna be close but I don't believe I can make it to Indy. But if Probably, it looks like it would be about an hour shy, but it, it, if I have a flatbed, then I've got to turn around and go back to Decatur to get a step deck to take home to just north of Cincinnati. She says, well, the step deck, and she's correct, I'm not knocking her or mocking her. She said, well, the step deck, the flatbeds are all going away. I said, but that doesn't help me Friday. <laughs> so, I rolled in here. There was like four spots left, and I was able to snag one of them, and, and, uh, and I was really worried because I was getting in here at 4.45 and I'm just north, not too far north of Memphis and uh, 
yeah, this place is packed up like cordwood now. They're even double parking along the curbs and everything else. Um, I'm not sure where they think they're going to go. Some of them are just kind of sitting here waiting, I think, and hoping, and it happens, that people do their 30 minute break and then pull out. But, um, yeah, it's a good day. It's a good driving day. 677.5 miles. Um, my total driving time today was 10 hours and 21 minutes. So I had about 39 minutes left on my clock when I got in here. That's all I had. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't go any farther. Wasn't going to go any farther. Plus, I was just wore out. Well, that's today. Tomorrow, Grenada. That is the Love's Maintenance Bay. I'm up here in Wisconsin. Delivered this, well, I arrived this morning at uh, New Berlin. And, uh, yeah, that didn't work out real well. What town am I in? I'm in Elkhorn. Beautiful up here right now. Uh, 26 degrees for the high and that's what it is um, I uh, I left in the ice storm that you saw the roads were okay uh, snowstorm snow fog whatever you want to call that thing not north of us it was south of us I don't know they got a lot of ice um, I rolled up here. I got into uh, New Berlin at 6:45 for a 7 a.m. off uh, live load, uh, off load, and there was a Maverick truck just pulled into the bay. Uh, so he got in the bay, and I went in and helped him unsecure all his stuff. And uh, uh, I went in two hours later. I hadn't got any glass off of it, so I go. So there's a younger kid there. And uh, I was talking to him for a minute. I've seen him in there a couple times. And uh, just talked to him, see what was going on. Went out, sit back in my truck. Since he hadn't started, I knew they were going to be a while. And uh, I heard this roar, and here come a fire engine. And it's real narrow right there where I'm parked at. Um, went around the building, I thought, well, great. They got a fire alarm or something. Now I'm going to be here all day. So I. Uh, I got out of my truck, walked out, walked inside, and they were, he was undoing a, a container of cased glass, and it fell on him. Um, I don't know how bad his injuries were. Uh, they carted him out in a neck brace and all kinds of bracing, and, and he did have some cuts. He had all of his glass PPE on. Um, but the weight of the glass um, and the fact that he had fell down on the, you know, those, those steel racks I've shown you, he landed on them. I don't know whether he landed on them his back. He hit his head. I don't know. But he had all his PPE on. But, you know, a hard hat can only protect so much. And it's hard hats protect from stuff falling down, not really. So if you go back, you can still hit the back of your head pretty good. But he was, so that brought everything to a standstill. So, um, needless to say, seven hours and two minutes later I got out of there. Can't make it back to Decatur. I uh, talked to one of the air drivers and they don't have any of our trailers loaded in Decatur so it didn't matter whether I got back there or not. Uh, the reason I'm here at the Loves uh, one of the other drivers had dropped this trailer and I was talking to him last week and the plug that plugs into the trailer is ripped out of the trailer. It broke off and it was already uh, loaded. Um I got a phone call that the trailer was loaded, ready to go, it was in the building. I went in there, and yeah, it was loaded, but that's all. So I put all the uh, the wiper blades up, the end caps, all the, uh, uh, all the aluminum angles, the cardboard protection, and I got it all secured. And then uh, what it is, I went to bed, and you can see where the, the snow came on or the fog. And I just rolled out that morning and rolled straight on up to New Berlin. My goal was to go out and get out of New Berlin, go to um, Decatur it was my plan, and then grab my load and, and actually overnight tonight and get unloaded a day early in Indiana. Did not happen, uh, needless to say. 
I rolled 30 miles from the uh, True Light in New Berlin here to the Loves um, to get this trailer plug fixed. And they've only got one person working. Um, so anyhow, that's it. It is damn pretty up here. I mean, look at the sky and a view of the highway. What, what more could you ask for? Uh, I'm going to go check in with them in a minute, see if I can get an ETA. Um, and I done told them, when I get ready to lay down my 10-hour break, I don't care if the trailer's fixed or not. Uh, if I'm not in the bay, then scratch me off the list, uh, you know, when it comes to that time. Um, I need to roll out of here at 2 a.m. Uh, to be indicator six to pick up my trailer and then I can be in Indianapolis by 10 hopefully get offloaded and get some miles toward uh, the trail. I make these little videos in pieces parts sometimes I repeat myself I do just put a note down below Dave quit repeating yourself but everything's okay because I've got emergency chocolate as long as you got emergency chocolate but I'm actually tired because I had gone to bed so early trying to get up and roll out of there at 2 to be down here when the doors opened in New Berlin that I didn't sleep very well. I wasn't ready to go to sleep, but I will be tonight. I get a shower and a meal, and I'm going to lay down and go to sleep. Uh, hopefully this all melds together with truck repair, shower, and sleep. Um, I probably won't even worry about... Uh, yeah, I need to try to get there at 6. If the trailer's not done, the trailer's not done. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. I hate planning because you know how my plans work. They don't. Well, what you're looking at right there is uh, 3 hours waiting. 3 hours 43 minutes waiting. 3 hours and 25 minutes to unload. Yeah, that's uh, stupid. That is the service bay for Loves. That's where I'm at now. Got a minor repair. See if I can set this over here. When I picked this trailer, one of the other drivers had called me last week. We were talking. He said that somebody had ripped the plug out of this electrical plug out from the trailer. And uh, it didn't get fixed. Needless to say, that's the one I grabbed this morning. Um, so I'm here at the Loves to get it fixed. I'm pretty much out of time. I couldn't make it back to Decatur. Uh, it's about four hours and 30 minutes one way. And I basically burn up a 14-hour day with four hours and 30 minutes of drive. About five because I drove 30 minutes down here. So now I need to blast out of here. Um... get to Decatur at 6 a.m. So I need to be up. I need to be up and rolling by 2. I need to be wheels rolling by 2 o'clock. Um, talked to one of the other drivers. And nothing's loaded there at, at Decatur. Um, so if I don't get it loaded today, then once I get down there, I'm going to blast over to Indianapolis. And hopefully they can get me unloaded and I'm going to burn up a few more hours going toward uh, Pennsylvania. I live load there Thursday, uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, blast over to uh, Columbus for a Friday a.m. delivery at the home. Which I'm glad we changed the schedule because everything's shut down. If I didn't mention it, uh, everything's shut down around Pennsylvania. I'm, not, I'm sure it's getting, it's getting better by now. No word on the fella that got hurt. Um, don't think he's gonna die from anything, but he got busted up pretty good. The average guy there, he got in the bay before I did, so I helped him out, and he came in, helped me out, and uh, then he blasted, which is okay. And then I stood around. Oh, then he went to lunch for an hour. I'm like, is this set in stone? You know, I mean, can you not say, you know, in an hour I can get this trailer and then go to lunch? But instead, they flipped it around, so 
I ran on a clock. Um, if I had that hour, I could have made it to Decatur tonight. Did an overnight there instead. I'm going overnight here. I'm trying to get in the bay, get this electrical plug fixed. Um, as I said, I went in there, they got one guy tonight. And I told him, I said, you know what, if you can't get to it, I'll take it back the way I got it. I'm not going to sit here 14 hours. You know, when it's time for me to go to bed, I'm going to go in there and tell him, forget it. Just scratch me off the list because I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I got a full day of driving again tomorrow. Um, the offload went well, as well as can be expected. It's just extremely slow there. You know, I, I talk about the sloth guy down there in Grenada, but man, these guys up here, they're, I think there's a competition going on. And uh, I basically had, had texted the boss uh, I told her, uh, no, I didn't tell her, I guess I didn't send it, but maybe I told her on the phone, don't know, but basically it was, you know, if you, if you want to get, keep this deal going and get this going, you know, with, with freaking, you know, the true life program of running these loads these guys have got to get on the same page we can't we can't pull in there and you don't care and, and that's what i see is they just don't care they have no skin in the game if it takes them all day to unload you they get paid the same and, and i understand that the guy that's unloading me he's got like three jobs because people don't show up and they can't get good employees or whatever but i don't care about that Quit your other jobs and get this truck unloaded. And guess what? I can get out of there. You can't even do your other jobs unless you got the glass. So anyhow, I'm tired. Um, needless to say, <laughs> hope I'll get in, and get out of here. I'm gonna grab something to eat in a bit. Um, I had eaten eight. Time is, I guess, ain't around noon today. I don't even know what they got in there. We'll take a trip in there in a minute. See, that we'll get a shower.